Now, renting a property from Airbnb can be an enjoyable money-saving experience, but for some people, it's a bit like staying with my auntie Maureen. Seems like a good idea in the moment, and then you remember she's a drunk and the duvet's covered in what I really hope is oxtail soup. <laughs> yes, the joke there is she soiled herself. All right. <laughs> if you watch it. Um, because while millions of people have successfully booked with Airbnb, illegitimate scammers have found ways to fool holidaymakers into paying for fake accommodation. Even this guy got swept up in it. Ooh. Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Alan recently had an American family of six on his doorstep thinking they'd booked his house as an Airbnb rental. They hadn't. Imagine how awkward that would be, that conversation. <laughs> I've spoken to Karen and Claude, and I have to tell you, with regret, you're homeless. <laughs> I became aware of Airbnb's issues with scammers back in 2018. Two years ago, I launched a deep and long-running investigation into Airbnb. This board has all my hard-hitting evidence and a built-in table for snacks. <laughs> Mummy can't fight injustice without her easy peelers. I've spoken to loads of people who've lost thousands of pounds using Airbnb. Like Peter Stone. He booked a gorgeous Menorcan villa on Airbnb, messaged the host a few times and everything seemed legit. But then he was persuaded to pay 11,000 euros direct to the host, who then disappeared. Airbnb said there was nothing they could do for Peter as he paid off platform. But thankfully, soon after, he got back all 11,000 euros after I spoke to Airbnb. Well, I didn't speak to them, it was my producers, and there was a bit of pressure from Channel 4 as well. I'm not going to go into the full details of how the show works. Now, I couldn't catch Peter's scammer, but Airbnb was awash with them. Back to me in the future, please. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. And that's how I first encountered this guy. His name is Finn. Fit, right? <laughs> He's certainly my type. And that type is potentially criminal. <laughs> Back in 2018, he was advertising these 12 luxury properties across some of the poshest postcodes in London as Airbnb rentals. But it turned out that Finn didn't actually have the keys to any of these properties. We know this because we checked land registry records and contacted some of the real owners. One of those houses belonged to none other than pop princess and face of Pantene, Ellie Golding. Guess what? Ellie had never heard of Finn either, and she definitely hadn't given him her keys. He's got no right to let my home home home. <laughs> He's got no right to let my home home home. She recorded that for us especially. <laughs> she didn't, actually. She is, in fact, quite difficult to get hold of. <laughs> uh, it turns out Finn was just pretending he owned these properties so people would pay him vast sums of cash, and those people are innocent holidaymakers like you and me, who might see a great-looking flat on Airbnb and think, yeah, that's where I'd like to go on my well-earned break with my hideous family. <laughs> then, just as you're about to collect the keys, he'd switch the booking to a crapper flat that he did have the keys for. This is what's known as bait and switch. Oh, no. Bait and switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a very literal graphic, that one, Mark. I don't believe in metaphors. <laughs> <laughs> Bait and switch, it's a well-worn scam. It would be like thinking you were booking Sir Keir Starmer and getting some other Labour MP. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. It's all right, love. Now, as much as I admired Finn for his bare-faced cheek, as well as what I imagine are some succulent abs, I had no choice but to report him and his fraudulent activity to Airbnb. They took Finn off their website straight away and they said to us, Fake listings have no place in our community. We have removed Finn. We work 24-7 to protect our community and prevent fraud. If that's true, then explain the following. Farewell, sweet prince. Despite me giving Airbnb evidence of his dastardly scamming ways, they allowed Finn to return just weeks later. He's now listing 42 properties on Airbnb, and one of them is still Ellie Golding's Pantene-soaked love nest. I know he's just one man, one incredibly fit man, 
but he's symptomatic of all the scammers all over Airbnb's platform. And I was determined to take him down. If Airbnb won't stop him, then I will. He may be my greatest adversary. I booked Finn's listing of Ellie's pad, paying £5,335 for a two-week stay. But just as I packed the essentials and was about to head off, I got a text that really urinated on my chips. Hi, Joe. We're having a boiler issue with the flat you've booked. However, I've got a similar flat. I can host you here tomorrow until the boiler is fixed or for your whole stay. So sorry about this. Let me know your thoughts. Best regards, Finn. I'm absolutely furious. Let's go. Come on. Can we go via Gail's Bakery as well and eat some carbs? My rage tempered with brioche, I raced across town to see where Finn was sending us instead. And just as expected, it's a flat above a wax shop on a traffic polluted road, not a three story muse house. Time to see for myself what my £480 a night pad is really like. Not Ellie, more smelly. Quite a mucky window, that. Less Ellie Golding, more Ellie Moulding. Oh, that's hot. It's less Ellie Golding and more Ellie Scolding. That is an excellent joke. Oh, <laughs> that's so grim. I'm going to need a full bleach after this. Practically choking on my Pantene, we cancelled our stay after just one night. But Finn pocketed more than £400 for that little stay. Oh, Finn, you are as wicked as you are beautiful. Just like Ben Shepherd. <laughs> Airbnb might have let him get away with it, but I won't. I've made another booking with Finn, and seeing as he's got boiler issues, I thought I'd lend him a little helping hand. Maybe he needs a plumber. Hi, I'm Mario, and this is Luigi. To avoid being sued by the Nintendo Corporation, we're not brothers, we're lovers. It's an amorsa level! Let's -a go! Dressed as the most famous plumber of all time, armed with a new working boiler, a thirst for justice, and a cute hat, would today be the day I finally caught up with Finn? As Luigi skillfully parked the Mario Kart, it was time to send in my undercover dream boats. In you go, poppets. Good luck. Finn could appear at literally any moment. Anything could happen. Yeah. Someone's coming. Are they coming? Yeah. <sighs> oh, who's this guy? Oh, oh hi. We, just, we were expecting to meet Tin here. Is that yeah. Gonna be Tin? No sign of Finn. Just lots of his buddies. Hi, George. This is Tin. Hi, Tin. Um, we were expecting to meet you here. I thought we were meeting you here too. Get him on video call, please. Hello. And then, for the first time, there Finn really was. Be still, my beating heart. It was time to ditch the starry-eyed plumber gig and turn up the heat on Finn. And this flat, how many how many bedrooms in both of these flats? Excuse me. Finn, this is Joe Lysett. I'm off the television. I have been tracking you for the last two years. I'm not sure you own all of the 42 properties that you list on Airbnb. For example, this property here, it's, it's listed on your Airbnb but you don't own it. Ellie Golding owns it, the international pop star. Why are you listing properties that you don't own? That's really weird. But his wingmen had heard enough. What? I was hoping to speak to Finn. Did you know? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on? I don't know where you're playing. You can just go away from here like this. No, no, this is public property. I can stay. I don't know. Why, why are you recording on? Because I think you work for Finn. No, I don't work for Finn. But why are you so annoyed about me standing in the road, then? I know, weird, what you're doing, like. I just... Could you deliver a message to Tim? Mm -hmm. Could you... Could you tell him I love him? And I hope to meet him one day. Game over. I was so scared. I was properly really scared when all that happened. Just to recap, I finally came face to face with the Airbnb scammer and my super hunk nemesis, Finn. He unfortunately did manage to escape my clutches and I would have clutched him so hard. <laughs> I needed to take it to the top brass. The man behind Airbnb is CEO Brian Chesky. <laughs> if you're wondering why he looks like that, it's because he's a former bodybuilder. Yeah, me too, mate. <laughs> I wanted to get a message to Brian Chesky, so I decided to set up my own Airbnb profile. The first thing I had to do was decide on a username. I went for Brian Chesky. 
<laughs> then, like Finn, I listed a property I didn't actually own. And then I gave Airbnb a taste of their own medicine. Bait and switch medicine! <laughs> Hello, Jay Lysett here, in a Dublin dockyard. Classic me. What's that over yonder? Oh, look, it's the state-of-the-art headquarters of Airbnb. And they're about to get a lesson in the art of bait and switch. Do you like pop music? Airbnb let Finn entice us with the prospect of staying in Ellie Golding's flat. Well, we're going to entice Airbnb with the prospect of seeing the actual Ellie Golding live. The voice, the body, the faint whiff of Pantan. And it's all happening right outside their offices. We are calling the event Pop-Up Pop Music, and despite the weather, we've gone to great lengths to make the bait believable. One, two, two, two. We've opened an Instagram account, a Twitter account, and I've asked some celebrity friends to follow it. Emma E.K., Sophie Ellis-Bexter, Jamie Lang, not really a celeb. And we've also got the people of Dublin tweeting about it. It's gonna be spicy! Showtime's approaching. Time to send in some Ellie Golding fans. Send in some Ellie Golding fans. They're not really Ellie Golding fans, they're Joe Lysett fans, who turned up to help me convince Airbnb staff that this gig is legit. Now let's see if the Airbnbers take the tasty bait. Had I done enough to convince any Airbnb staff to brave the rain? Of course I had! Suckers! Ooh, OK, welcome. They've taken the bait. Now time for the switch. Are you ready, Ellie? Darling, you look wonderful. Let's go! We're approaching Airbnb. There's a massive crowd outside the stage. Not even the weather was going to stand in the way of consumer justice. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a cheer if you're from Dublin. Give me a cheer if you work at Airbnb. It's time for a performance from Ellie. So Airbnb can learn how it feels to turn up expecting something amazing and get something not so amazing. I've given them this. Whatever this is. It's me, Brian Chesky, the CEO of Airbnb. Definitely not Joe Lysett from Joe Lysett's Got Your Back. But I've definitely booked us some accommodation for after the show. And it's check-in time! Let's go, Ellie Golding! It's this way! That's right, I listed the one place I knew would annoy Airbnb the most. A property they could never ignore. I went onto Airbnb and listed the head offices of Airbnb under host name Brian Chesky. If they don't mind other people's property being listed for rent without their knowledge, presumably they won't mind it when it happens to them, right? Wrong! See all that paper? That's 30 booking confirmations! We're checking in! Hello. I'm good, how are you? We've got a reservation here on Airbnb. Yes, this is Brian. We checked in with Brian Chesky. Is there anyone we can speak to about our booking? Because we have booked it, it's an official booking, this. Um, not for this building, no. What? Are you saying there's, there's fake listings on Airbnb? No, no, no. Surely not a fake listing on Airbnb. That couldn't possibly be the case, could it? Oh. Is this has the boiler gone? It's always the boiler, isn't it? Oh, you guys, I'm going to have to clear the door. This is actually a fire exit, so you can block the door. The OK. Moment. I mean, I am technically your boss. I, I, I'm, I'm Brian Chesky, but... <laughs> Sorry to anyone who is actually here for Ellie Golding. <laughs> but don't worry, I've listed another sweet pad and we're all staying there tonight. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we're here. Great party, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Fun, isn't it? Now, I should, I should just say that I've never filmed in such miserable conditions in my life, and I've been on Celebrity Juice. <laughs> Following our recent visit, Airbnb sent us a message which will be read beautifully now by Jess Phillips MP. We have zero tolerance for fake or misleading content. We have permanently removed this host from our platform. We have invested 115 million in measures to build trust on Airbnb and more than 2 million guests stay in Airbnb on any given night. Thanks, Brian. I mean, yes! Yeah. Why not? Why not? 
<laughs> Great news.